Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about a quick fix to uh, fix the error message your program license has expired when you open the Dynamics Nav development environment. And I have a previous YouTube video on my YouTube channel talking about how you can upload the license even you see this error message when you open the development environment. And But this is something else. So if you are using Dynamics Nav 2013 or Dynamics Nav 2013 R2, then uh, the default expiration date for your Kronos.ff license is July the 31st, 2022. You can, locate, you can locate that license from the service tier. So you can go to the C drive, then go to program files, then go to your Dynamics Nav uh, folder, and then find your uh, service tier. This is the service folder. So don't worry about this version I'm, uh, I'm showing you. So you should have um, something called Dynamics Nav instead of Business Central because I don't have that version installed on my computer. So I'm just using this as an example. But you should be able to see uh, the service tier folder under the program files folder. And the chronos.flf, this license file is located there. So what you have to do is like, um, because this license is, is spared. So when you open your uh, development environment, the program is automatically checking that uh, file, chronos.flf first, uh, before it checks your, uh, your license file, okay? So uh, that's why if this license expired, then uh, when you open the development environment, you will not be able to open it. It just uh, pop up that error message and shut down the development environment. So in order to fix this, what you can do, you can just uh, remove this chronos.flf file from this folder. So then you can use, because you have your own perpetual license, you can uh, copy your perpetual license and re rename it to chronos.flf and put it under this folder. So in this case, because your perpetual license doesn't have an expiration date, and uh, when you open your development environment system, is automatically checking this name, chronos.flf file, under this folder. So we will kind of just cheat the system, tell the system like, um, the file, the license file did not ex uh, did not expire with our with your valid Dynamics Nav license. You just rename it and put it here and rename it to this um, name and then put it under this pass. Then you should be able to open your Dynamics Nav development environment. So this is specifically for Dynamics Nav 2013 or 2013 R2, because after July the first uh, 31st this year, then. Uh, for those uh, users who are still using those licenses, then uh, they have this expiration date. Uh, they have the Kronos has this expiration date. That's why you are seeing that error message and you couldn't open your Dynamics Nav development environment. Okay, thank you so much for watching the, this YouTube video. I hope this tip works for you. Okay, I hope to see you guys again next time.